Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, which <laughs> I have been very inconsistent with because to be honest, I don't even have a reason. I just, I just haven't, I just haven't filmed or I filmed and then not finished the video and then it gets too late and then I don't post it. So this is me holding myself accountable because I want to start posting on YouTube a little bit more frequently. I want to document from now until when I step on stage next year because I really wanna share this whole process with you and try and like just document as much of it as I can because I genuinely love it. And yeah, I love watching back the videos. I love watching other people's videos. And yeah, I just wanted to produce a little bit more content on YouTube and not just film my prep either. Like I want to film everything. Now, I want to kind of give a little bit of an update because I guess there's been a couple of videos here and there, but I think since last year, a lot has happened and I don't want this to be like a really rambly video because I actually really want to do like a full day of eating with kind of like where I'm currently at to show you where things are. But I guess I kind of just wanted to give a little bit of an overview on how the last like, year has gone. Um, it's been, since the start of this year, it's been very up and down. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on Natural Bodybuilding Worldwide, which if you don't, you should. <laughs> um, I'll pop a link actually for MBW because it's a fantastic member site with so much information. So I will pop a link down below. But yeah, since the start of January, I injured my back, I slipped a disc. And to be honest, like it was, it was tough. It was really tough. Probably one of the hardest things that I've had to go through. Um, it, yeah, it was not fun, <laughs> obviously, but it, it was very much a struggle mentally as well because obviously not being able to train, training is my passion and it really, really impacted me quite badly to be honest. And yeah, I guess I just didn't really wanna be filming myself through that process because it wasn't easy to go through. So I'm definitely out the other end of it now. It's been a long process. Um, rehab has been incredible. Like I've been working with an amazing physio who has been really, really helpful and you know just really helped me with my rehab process and it's actually taken quite a long time to get back to feeling confident with a lot of the exercises that I do um, but I'm definitely now in a position where I feel confident again I'm training how I love to train and I'm actually currently in a diet phase I've been in this diet phase for five weeks now and it's going really really well and I'm currently down about six kilos which is really cool and yeah like everything is going really smoothly and i genuinely am so excited because this diet phase is it's a diet phase that is kind of setting me up or partly setting me up for my prep next year now i am so excited to prep next year and one thing that i wasn't sure of when i injured myself i wasn't sure if i would still be prepping next year but with how this phase is going right now and with how i'm feeling at the moment prep is definitely going to be happening next year, which is so exciting. Um, and yeah, I genuinely can't, I genuinely can't wait. So the whole point of this diet phase is to drop down from my peak body weight to, so my peak body weight is kind of around 84 kilos. So we're dropping down from 84 kilos, planning to get down to 70 kilos. So that's a hefty amount to, to lose. It's a very, it's not really like a mini diet. It's a, it's quite a lengthy diet phase. It's gonna be about 17 weeks in total, which does seem like a very long time. But the idea is we're gonna get down to 70 kilos and then from 70 kilos, I'm then gonna be able to kind of see where I'm at, see my physique at that body weight, which I wouldn't have been at that body weight since 2021, which is bizarre. So we're gonna get down to 70 kilos, see what I look like. And the plan is 70 kilos roughly will be where I start my prep from. Now, obviously my prep will be next year. So we'll diet down to 70. Then we'll spend from when this diet phase finishes all the way up until beginning of next year, which will be from about August until January, just very, very slowly gaining. Like I'm talking a pound a month so that I don't gain too, too much. So, 
sorry, my camera cut off then for some reason. But anyway, we'll get to January, do another diet phase, and then kind of look to start my, well, look to do a maintenance and then start my prep around 70 kilos, which is pretty crazy really, but I think it will be so much better than when I started my prep in 2021, I was around 82 kilos and it just was too much to lose. It was just too much. I, it was a slog. It wasn't, you know, I probably lost a bit of muscle tissue. So doing it this way will enable me to not lose tissue, hopefully. And it also not have to be such like a shift. So yeah, I'm very excited to document this journey. I want to, I'm planning on filming weekly, hopefully, um, from now all the way up and through, all the way through my prep um and kind of vlogging so if anyone has any ideas of what they want to see let me know um today is currently sunday so i want to take you through a sunday typical rest day because it's a rest day for me so i want to give you i want to show you what i'm eating i want to do a full day of eating you would have seen my first meal earlier which was two eggs and four bacon medallions um which i have as my meal one every single day and yeah i'm gonna take you along show you what it's like on a sunday for me and yeah i hope you guys enjoy any questions then let me know but yeah let's get on with it i'm just about to make my meal number two which is chicken salad with avocado so this is a bottle of lovely tableware of chicken there is a lot of chicken in there because me and Lewis eat a lot of chicken um, where is the bowl? So with this meal I have 150 grams of chicken. So I'm just going to weigh that out and pop it in the air fryer and then I'll prepare my salad. Let me bring you over so you can see. This is barbecue chicken and this chicken is from the meat man. Very, very good. We do a big batch. We order like a big batch. Um, so then we have like loads and we like just keep it in the freezer and then get it out when we need to get some out and this actually like keeps pretty well in this container as well pop the whole thing into the air fryer and I put it on air fry for 12 minutes and then while that's cooking, I am going to get my salad ready. So, salad bits. We have lettuce, cucumber, beetroot, avocado, which I have 30 grams of, and some sweet corn. And yes, I get it in a bag because I'm lazy. This is the best way to cut a cucumber. So you just like peel some of the... You literally like... Slice it down there, slice it down there, and then boom, perfect. Sweet corn is so good. Let's hope that this is actually a good avocado because keep getting avocados recently where like I open them up and they're just like either brown or like not soft so hopefully this is a good one the moment of truth we'll see. oh it doesn't it feels a bit hard it looks fine but the texture is like like not soft Bit annoying it's so hard to find like avocados that are actually good oh well right i think my camera keeps cutting off which is really annoying but that is my salad i don't know how much of that you saw um but that is my salad and i'll wait for the chicken to be cooked pop that on and then sprinkle a little bit of um dressing on top oh so this is my chicken salad 
finished, ready to eat. While I'm eating this as well, you'll also notice we are in a new house. Lewis and I moved house. It's actually a while ago now. It was, oh my God, how long was it? I don't even remember when it was to be honest, but this year we moved house um, and we're still, still kind of settling in. Like there's still lots of bits that we want to get for the house. Like this is a temporary table. Our sofa should be coming in a couple of weeks. Uh, we still need to get a bed frame um and like just a couple of other bits to kind of like make it the house look like a home so another reason why i haven't really filmed is because yeah just like it takes a while to settle into like a new place but yeah we're much happier here we were obviously in a flat before and as we have a dog it doesn't really it doesn't really work for him being in a flat he needs a garden so we have a garden now and it's yeah just so much nicer um, but yeah, like I said, just taking some time to like settle in properly. So yeah, God knows when I'll actually feel settled. Maybe it will still be a while. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and then I will catch you in a bit. So I have just had my check-in feedback from AJ. And as I anticipated, we have a food drop, which yeah, I definitely thought that would be coming because my body weight has been pretty, pretty stagnant this week. So, oh, say hello. You say hello. <laughs> hello. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, my body weight has been pretty stagnant. So I was anticipating a food drop, which I'm not complaining about because I'm feeling ready for it, you know? Like, I'm, I'm here for a food drop. So, with that being said, 40 carbs have been taken from both training and non-training days. So I'm just gonna work out what I'm actually gonna remove. Because I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this next meal just pro-fat. So this is, next meal I'm having is usually my oats. Oats, uh, berries and protein powder. But I'm gonna have just berries and protein powder because yeah, then I can have my last two meals as carbs. So, I'm gonna have 100 grams of frozen berries and these are the berries I've been having at the moment. Summer fruits from Sainsbury's. Not all that really matters. Um, and then I'll also, oh, I need to get out some bagels. So my next meal as well is bagel and smoked salmon. So I'm gonna get these out of the freezer so that that's ready. So yeah, 100 grams of berries, um, probably be 10 grams of dark chocolate, which I'll just have on the side, and then 35 grams of whey. And I don't know whether to have this as just like, like a bowl, or whether I should have it as a shake. Oh, I might have it as a mug cake. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna put you on the air fryer. Um, Get my mug, put my protein powder into there. I had a mug cake the other day and it was delicious. So you go 35 grams of whey. Although it might need to be more because I've now not got oats. Mix it with some water. And then yeah, so that, you can't even see that. Let me, you can kind of see that consistency. Like runny, but not too runny. So mix that and then I'll pop my dark chocolate in it. So 10 grams of dark chocolate, pop that in the middle, and then that should melt. Mm. Oh, I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. Turned off again, make sure that that's covered. And then, pop that in the microwave. 
this microwave is a bit gross because the rice cooker that we have always just like explodes rice juice everywhere. So now pop that on for a minute and a half. Then I'm gonna prepare my berries. This is my mug cake. And then I'm just gonna pour, oh. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> nice. So this is meal number three. Excuse the fact that I might look a little bit red. I've actually just been to some bed shop um, and also went to have a look at one of Lewis, Lewis's clients who is currently on prep as well. Um, so yeah, went with him to have a look in person. And this is actually just my basic drink. I'm gonna go and get it actually. Let me show you. So this is Basic by HR Labs, which is honestly a fantastic supplement. It's got a lot of things in that help with performance and recovery. Um, it's got creatine, it's got beta alanine, beta anadrus, Pico 2, taurine, cocoa mineral, pink Himalayan salt, astrogen. And it's honestly just fantastic. Tastes amazing. This flavor is my favorite. Boom, boom, berry. And I have this every single day in the morning. Forgot to have it this morning, so I'm having it now. Um, but yeah, it's just a fantastic supplement. So if anyone is looking for something that has creatine, has other things in there for hydration and just overall performance and recovery, basic is phenomenal um so yeah i'm gonna be i'm just gonna drink this then we're gonna go to the spa well yeah the spa to do my cardio i currently have 30 minutes of cardio on a rest day on the bike and i'll probably go in the steam room as well i need to wash my hair too so i'll wash my hair um and then probably just gonna chill Sundays are my normal like day off like I don't work on Sundays unless I'm just replying to some messages but I take Sundays as time away from work so that I can be a better coach and be more productive on the days that I do work. Um, I also am going to be now running a deload um, which is definitely needed. I said to AJ in my check-in this morning that I was just feeling like on the brink of needing a deload and I know my body quite well I know when I need a deload and I can just tell that I need one and obviously because of being injured last year well not last year this year because of being injured this year I don't want to risk injuring myself when I'm training um so I'd rather take this deload so I'm gonna do three days off which technically today is the day off as well so Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'm gonna have this days off and then we're going to go 3D volume sessions back. So that will be Thursday, Friday and Sunday. So yeah, a week of deload D slash D volume, which I think will be very much beneficial. Um, and I'm actually quite looking forward to it because my sessions this week have just been a little bit like not the best. I've been driving to the gym, feeling like I'm going to fall asleep. Not ideal. So that's that. And then oh, I'm going to Taylor Swift on... Tuesday, I'm going to Taylor Swift on Tuesday. I'm so excited. I might show you guys my Eras Tour outfit later if I get the chance to try it on because I'm obsessed. It's so nice. So that's the plan. Um, I'm pretty much not far off hitting my steps for today. I'm on 7,000, so I've got 3,000 left to do. I'll probably do some when I do my cardio so I can just relax for the rest of the evening. Um, but yeah, wow, it feels like such a chilled Sunday. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were telling everyone. You mean to tell everyone that you've been shouting at me? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Why are you lying? So we're on our way through our cardio. Wow! <laughs> so exciting. Anything else? What cardio are you doing? So I'm doing the stairs. I'm doing in weird. interval sprints on the stairs. Because
because I'm an actual athlete. <laughs> and I just like to go super slow on the bike. Slow? <laughs> Are you joking? I go really fast, actually. <laughs> I go really fast on yeah. the bike. Because yeah. I'm really good. You're a cyclist? Yeah. yeah. I'm doing the, um, the commentary cycling <laughs> competition. Is that what you've been training for in your off-season? Yeah. That's why you're taking time off bodybuilding. That. That's why you ain't competed. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Half an hour? Half an hour. Half an hour every rest day. For now. Do you think they'll be added to your training days? Mm, have, has there been? No, do you think there will be? Maybe, but not yet. Oh, if any gets added, it'll probably be added to like my push days. Yeah. Or maybe he'd increase my rest day cardio, maybe. Are you doing half an hour? Half an hour. Yeah, you probably put that to like 40, 45, I imagine. Yeah. I don't know if he'd add, add to rest days, like over adding to my training days. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. See then. She's putting all our, our our cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making. First, she's just gotta stop all the faking, and she'll be there. But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better And that's where she'll go enjoyed that cardio session. <laughs> Why are you pretending you're tired? Because I am. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My legs. <laughs> oh God. Cardio after leg day. Painful. I'm very sweaty. All right. Switch up my legs. Jeez. You're leaner than me. That's not fair. My legs will look like that soon. Right. I'm gonna go in the sauna now. Not sauna. They don't have a sauna here. I'm gonna go in the steam room. And then I'll probably see you when I have my next meal. I am fresh from the spa. Why does my face look really red? Lovely. 
And I'm just about to make quite possibly my favorite meal of all time, which is smoked salmon on a bagel. Just insane. And this is my first like proper carb meal of the day. So I am absolutely buzzing. I'm starving. So this is gonna go down an absolute treat. So excuse the fact that my hair looks like an absolute mess. I try not to like brush it when it's wet. So I just kind of leave it like this. <laughs> and I promise it will look better when, once it's dry. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good. I also like to have some lightest Philadelphia as well. Amazing. I feel like I need some veg with this meal. But, oh yeah. well. I also can't be bothered to like get much veg. I don't really feel like veg goes with this. I mean, salad would, but I could have salad to be fair. Maybe I'll have salad. So I'm gonna have a bit of this spinach, watercress, and rocket salad just like on the side because I feel like it kind of missing something. Um, and I'm gonna have this sauerkraut because this is good for digestion and fucking hell that was hard to open I and mean, it tastes great i love the taste of this stuff it looks like a load of shit but it's really good i was just somebody longing for someone to hold me it could be anybody but you chose me somehow Now I'm crazy Thinking about you all the time Like crazy Knowing you're here by my side And who was doing fine on my own But baby You make me a whole lot better Ready? And that is my meal! It is time for meal number five, AKA my last meal. So we are having cream of rice. I just need to double check how much cream of rice I'm having because I just want to make sure that I've got it right. Okay, 45 grams of cream of rice. I'm going to show you how I actually make this cream of rice because I have a specific way of making it. A lot of people will just pour the hot water straight in to the cream of rice, but in my opinion, it's just not good that way. Um, oh, my hair is also getting on my nerves, but I can't really tie it up because it's still wet. Um, okay, so get some water. And you do five times so however much cream of rice. So I have 45 grams of cream of rice. So I'm going to do five lots of 45. So 225 milliliters of water or grams. I just do grams. And then I like to use a fork to just like, let me just bring this down. So here we go. I give that a stir so make sure it's all mixed up okay and then it should be all mixed up and really runny oh. and then pop it in the microwave for one minute so you put it in for one minute the first time and then take it out stir it and then you put it in 30 seconds, take it out, stir it, and just keep doing 30 seconds and stirring it until it's like a thick consistency. Now, a lot of people like their cream of rice like really like runny. Not for me. I like it quite thick. You'll see. I will show you when it's finished. Okay, this 
is the consistency of how I like my cream of rice. And it looks like it's a little bit lumpy, but it's actually really smooth. Like, amazing, absolutely incredible. So what I'm gonna do with that is put, how much chocolate do I have? 10 grams of dark chocolate. 10 grams. I don't think, I think it's 10 grams. Hang on a minute, let me just check. I'm getting myself really confused here. Oh, it's not 10 grams. Hang on a minute. It's, uh, we get more than 10 grams. I think we get 20 grams. We get 20 grams. Imagine getting that wrong. So we get another square. Oh. How stunning. 20 grams. I feel like I'm being spoiled today. And then a bit of salt. So five grinds in every meal. And perform whey. The best flavor, in my opinion, is this bad boy. Carrot cake. Oh, I haven't had this in ages and I had it the other day. Like from like a sachet that I had, that I got for free. Like literally just one serving. And I was like, oh my God. I remembered how good it is. So, drizzled a bit on top. And I'm honestly just gonna eat the rest out of here because I don't like there to be like too much whey on it because I don't know, I find it a bit much sometimes. I'm also gonna take this into the living room, finish watching the football because England are currently playing in the Euros and that'll pretty much be it. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. If you guys got this far, thank you for watching. I am gonna try and be a little bit better with filming content and just being on YouTube. So yeah. If you want to see more videos, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.